To everybody affected in Rob Allison's family and all of Rob's friends, everybody who loved him like I did, I want to just first start this video out by saying that I am so sorry to each and every one of you, and I'm expressing my profound sorrow and sympathies on this loss. My name is Adam Barrasano, and I'm going to try to hold it together, as Rob would definitely tell me to do so. I first met Rob in 2009 and I and I have to I have to smile because it, he touched my life more than he'll ever even understand. I was making my debut in New England Championship Wrestling as a professional wrestling manager and um an oversized professional wrestling manager at that as uh, I had had an injury much earlier in life that kept me from being in the ring full time so I couldn't be a full time wrestler. I pursued the role as a manager. And I remember, you know, you, you have few people in and around the business that love and, and support you. Rob was, was one of those people. He always ended every conversation as our friendship progressed with, I love you. He'd say, I love you, Adam. He'd end, he'd end the day and say, I love you. He was such a big fan of this rock god Brett Adams character that I was playing and it was the hokiest 1980s wrestling character that, you, that you've ever seen but Rob loved it and he felt it was good enough that he'd take me up to Maine and, and get me into NWA on fire and sure enough Rob did talked to him a couple months ago and I never I never I never dreamed it would be the last. They don't come like Rob Allison anymore. They don't. But every time I walked into the building for NWA on fire, he said, you ready to get them? You ready to get them going tonight, kid? He'd always call me kid. And I'd go to shake his hand. He'd always pull me in for a big giant hug. Big giant bear hug. He was he was a big giant teddy bear. I'll miss you, Rob. More than you know. And I love you. Hi, Alliance guys. This is Jaden. I know it's been a long time. Um, I'm just calling, though, to say a very special message. I just want to say rest in peace to Rob Allison. You're a friend of mine. You're a friend of Jay's. You're a friend of the Alliance guys. And you're a friend of wrestling. You're going to be very, very missed. I know. Um, I know you like to call me a slacker. So I'm going to end this with saying R.I.P. slacker. Rob was... Rob was a big fan of professional wrestling, obviously. And he... He got an opportunity... First of all, NWA on Fire was his was his home. Um, he did so much for them, like I said earlier. And on one one night, he was very close with Billy Robinson, who was the On Fire champion. Don't don't get confused by that belt. It's not the ten pounds of gold. It was the On Fire title. But that's that's Rob. And uh, just for a minute, he got to be part of the spotlight. He got to be part of the show. And you can look on his face. You know. You know, he looks miserable, but he was having a blast. 
<laughs> oh man. And this was one of those instances where, you know, Rob got to be part of the show. Rob Allison, what do you say? It's always a tragedy when any young person is robbed of what should have been the best years of their life. I got to know Rob, his affection for and his loyalty to the National Wrestling Alliance over the course of several years. Bright, enthusiastic, he had a vision. He would talk constructively and always lend a hand, even if you didn't ask him to. He was one of the guys that was welcome in any locker room, in any arena, in any state, at an NWA or other shows. I shall miss him dearly. I wish him eternal peace, eternal rest, and say to his family and friends, Godspeed. This is Fred Richards. Hey, everyone. This is Sheldon Goldberg from New England Championship Wrestling. Uh, Jake Hal asked me to say a few words about our good friend Rob Allison. As you all know, Rob passed away very suddenly this past week. Um, Rob was uh, active on the uh, Alliance board and would often uh, tell me about things that he saw there or things that were posted there. Uh, Rob, of course, had worked for me at New England Championship Wrestling for a number of years, and we continue to stay in touch. He was a, a, a very, very good friend, uh, somebody that I could confide in, uh, somebody whose opinion I valued and asked for quite frequently. And it's guys like Rob that really are the glue that holds independent pro wrestling together. Uh, Rob was very important to, the, to Mario Savoldi and NWA on Fire, um, Jason Rumble's company, uh, and when he worked for us, whether it was uh, helping set up or whether it was running camera, shooting promos, or running hard cam, uh, Rob was a guy that you could always count on, and you could count on to do a good job. Um, as I say, guys like Rob are the glue that hold independent wrestling together. He was a salt-of-the-earth guy. Uh, someone who had no agenda other than wanting to be around the business and do a good job and be part of something that was good. Um, he's going to be very sorely missed by all of us who knew him, by all of us who had the chance to work with him and be around him. Um, but more importantly, we're going to miss our friends and the friendship that uh, he offered those of us who were lucky to receive it. Um, I want to say to his uh, family and friends how deeply sorry I am that he's no longer with us. 44 years old is way too soon to leave this world. And uh, I hope that uh, Rob is remembered for all the positive things that he brought to wrestling, that he brought to his friends. And uh, I know that I, for one, am never going to forget him. Rob, Rest well. Thank you for everything. We'll see you on the other side. But last week, I learned uh, a passing of a friend, a very dear friend, and I'll go ahead and say his name, Rob Allison. I'm going to try not to get too choked up, guys, because Rob was a good dude. And he would tell me, just like he'd say to any one of you, hey, slacker, get to it. And normally... Normally, Rob probably wouldn't want this much attention given to him because he was a guy that was always behind the scenes. But Rob was my friend. Rob was supportive of this site. And Rob wrote for this website. I've known Rob for probably about 15 years. And I've written a lot about him in the last week. But I don't know if I've written enough. And I don't know if I can actually put into words what Rob meant to me and to this website. So I'll just start telling you a couple of stories. Um, now I know uh, some of you guys just found this website, this podcast, this YouTube channel in the last 60 days, 90 days, maybe the last year, maybe the last two years, but we've been plugging away, promoting the national wrestling Alliance for damn near 14 years. 
And Rob was one of the guys who was always there who had my back. Now, he was a part of the old NWA message board. He posted as Maine AC because he lived in Maine, and he was a maniac. He, he loved professional wrestling. His love for professional wrestling probably rivaled mine. His love for the Boston Red Sox, which I'll be honest, I'm an Angels fan, so I don't really care about the Red Sox. He was a Patriots fan. Okay, he loved his robs- robsters. <laughs> he loved his lobster rolls. Rob was a good dude. Rob worked behind the scenes with New England Championship Wrestling. Rob also uh, worked behind the scenes with NWA on Fire. He did a lot of their graphics. He helped uh, moderate their website. He he was the webmaster. He did graphics and and some some minor videos and stuff for him. He controlled their YouTube channel. And he might have gotten in trouble for this, but uh, we the podcast used to have a different name. The podcast used to be Talk NWA. We went with that for many years, and, and the reason why is because we were talking NWA. Nobody else was. That was our brand. That was our gimmick. That's what we did. We talked NWA. And again, nobody was doing this, guys. You know, occasionally Mike Johnson might throw us a bone when Scrap Iron Adam Pierce won the title or when the Sheik was stripped of the belt. But uh, for the most part, nobody was talking about the NWA, especially not the NWA in the Northeast, NWA on Fire, uh, NWA Dog, uh, NWA Force One. Um, But we were. And one of the things that Rob did, and like I said, he might have... He might have gotten in trouble for this. I don't know. but um, So he was in charge of NWA on Fire's website. And he procured the URL, Talk NWA. And I don't, I don't think Rob paid for that out of his pocket. I think the Savoldis might have paid for that. And, well, he, uh, so he registered Talk NWA. And maybe he did pay for it. Maybe he did. I don't know for sure, but I, I think the story's funnier if he didn't. Um, and he allowed us to use that. No questions asked. He didn't ask for a single thing in return. Nothing. And we we set up a Webly page that was separate from the Alliance site. It was just dedicated to the podcast. Um, and, of course, we threw it back. We, we tried to sponsor and support NWA on Fire as much as we could via that uh, that website. But it was it was one of those things that uh, it was such a nice gesture and such a kind gesture. And again, this was you know this was eight years ago, and it just meant a lot to me then, and it means it means a lot to me now. Even uh, <laughs> NWA ownership changed almost three or four months after he signed up <laughs> the Talk NWA, and th- the previous ownership group was very litigious. In fact, they started shutting down all of the old NWA licensees, or they were back then they were called uh, associates or affiliates, started closing down all of their Facebook pages, their Twitter pages, uh, basically filing that they were uh, trademark infringement. So it didn't matter how long these wrestling promotions had been around. If they didn't sign the new licensing agreement with the new ownership, then um, they were getting their social media shut down threat of lawsuits everything else so we changed the name to the podcast to the alliance guys podcast and that's that's where Jaden, dkm and myself took off and, and and kind of kept that as the name just so we wouldn't run into any obstacles with the new nwa and uh you know rob god bless him he uh he forwarded the talk nwa to the alliance dash wrestling.com website again it was something that i i never asked him to do I didn't say, hey, Rob, will you do this for me? He just did it. And that's the kind of guy Rob was. He just did things. Uh, About four years ago, things got really rocky in my personal life. And I'm not going to get into too many details, but there were two guys that volunteered to step up and help run the website. Uh, Some of you guys know DKM. He did a great job. But the other guy who was helping was Rob Allison. And uh, I always appreciated that. And... It, it never was lost on me. He continued to post on the website leading up until, I mean, honestly, 
His last post was in uh, November, uh, putting up the NWA Power episode on the website. And if I asked him to, he would have done more. But, you know, he, he had his own life to take care of, too. I guess what I'm saying, guys, is Rob was a beautiful human being. I wish you all could have known him. When we talk about hashtag NWA fam, that's, that's, that's the buzzword in this community right now. He was one of the best. Absolutely one of the best. And uh, my heart aches for his family and friends. Uh, I know he leaves behind his mom. Um, you know, uh, I, I hope he's looking down from heaven. And, and Rob, if you hear us, man, say hello to everybody up there, okay?